At the time that this happened, I was about five or six. I was finishing up preschool and starting primary school. My neighbor's house was located on the corner of my road and another road. Their front door faced the other road and there was a field across the road from their front yard. My neighbor's house was a double story. Their front yard was quite big and they had no backyard. The backyard was merely a small paved area with the back door to the house being the only noteworthy feature. I'd visit my neighbors literally every day after I came home from school. We'd come to and from each other via this fence that was located on the side of our property and the back of theirs. So I'd enter via their back door. One day I visited them as usual and spent the day playing video games with the boy who lived there as he was my best friend at the time. After a while, the family informed me that they were going to be heading out soon and I needed to be going now. As they had already closed up the back door, they requested that I leave out the front. As I leave, they started praying. As I was rarely in the front yard, I was quite interested in all the plants they had. Not to mention the family of kittens that lived up front. Eventually I decided not to stay too long in case I made a noise. The yard's shape resembled an L because the house was situated on the corner. Around the corner there's a wall that separates my neighbor's house from mine, and Thay's where I was heading. As I'm walking across the garden, I noticed a man standing at my neighbor's gate along the fence. He was just standing there and noticed me the moment I noticed him. He was light of complexion and dressed in all black. He just stared at me as if he was shocked to see me. I wasn't too bothered as I knew that the gate couldn't be opened unless you press a button inside the house to unlock the gate. As I proceed to walk across the yard, the man kept watching me. When I got to the corner of the yard, I noticed a second man. He was standing on the corner, on the pavement and beside the stop street sign. He too was dressed in black and this man looked like he may have been Indian. He too just stared at me. Looking to my right, I saw the fence I needed to climb in the distance. But as I'm looking to my right, I notice a third man standing near the gate to my house. Like the other men, he was dressed all in black and just stared at me in silence with no emotion in his face. At this point I felt uneasy. Not wanting to disturb my neighbor's prayers, I shot across the garden and headed toward the wall. As I started running, I noticed all three men started running too and followed me beside the fence. There was a pile of rocks leading up to the wall. It was a very high wall, so if it were not there, I would not have been able to climb over the wall. As I begin to climb the bricks, the men notice I'm trying to get to the house next door, so they run over to the gate and try to open it. I'm thankful that the gate we had at the time was all rusted and took a lot of effort to get it open. As the three men struggled to get the gate open, I hopped over the fence and landed into the driveway of my house. I sprinted to our front door and began to knock on the front door and ring the bell excessively. The three men were becoming frustrated with the gate, shaking it, until eventually it opened. One man forced himself through the gap as I saw our front door open. I shot in the door and my dad, who opened it, closed it immediately after I entered. He seemed preoccupied with something and didn't notice the man because he didn't open the door very wide before I was inside. I ran to my room and looked out my window to the front of the house. I saw the three men walking away from the house in a rush, leaving the gate open. I sat in my room, heart still racing, while my five-year-old brain realized I was almost kidnapped. I'm now 21 and realize how lucky I am that I got away that day. I don't know what the three men's intentions were, but I know it definitely wasn't good and I'm so thankful that I got away and never saw those three men again. To the three random men who tried to kidnap me, let's never meet again. This content was provided by 